Maybe. Y'all better get on y'all Zoom. Because who paying $400? Not me. That's why it's, it's giving Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. Mm-hmm. That's actually to grow your ass up. What y'all smelling like these days, huh? I hope y'all smelling good. But all these perfume dupes and rips and whatever you want to call it going around, ain't nobody should be walking around here stank, okay? With that being said, y'all, we about to get into my perfume collection. I have a couple of body oils. I also have a couple of um, the dupes from, from, Darcy, from Dossier and uh, some other affordable perfumes. So yeah, sit back and let's get into this perfume collection. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning neighbor, welcome back. So yeah, y'all. First off, we're gonna get into these um, perfume oils that I have. So y'all, I have um, a dupe for the Baccarat, and it's from the brand 211. I want to say this was an Instagram boutique, if I'm not mistaken. This is the um, this one is the dupe for Baccarat, and I think it's called she called it Attractive. Is what the name of it was. Yeah, cause she have the names on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see it. And it's called Attractive. This is the dupe for Baccarat, and it smells just like it. And if y'all know anything uh, about perfume or whatever, body oils last way longer to me than perfume. So, yeah, that's why I would prefer body oil over perfume any day. Just my preference. Um, the next one I have from her brand is the Coco Mademoiselle uh, body oil dupe. And this one is called Surrender. I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see. Called surrender it smells just like it, just like it. Yes, yes, mm hmm. Just like Coco Mademoiselle. Y'all know Coco Mademoiselle is like a flowery scent. Y'all don't know if I'm gonna go into like the um, the notes in, of all the perfumes because it's a lot of perfume, y'all. I'm just gonna tell y'all what I think they smell like. The notes I just haven't pulled up to even give y'all the notes of them. Cause it's like I said, it's a lot. So the next perfume oil I have is an, um, another Baccarat dupe. This one is from True Essence Designs. I want to say this is another um, Instagram boutique that I ordered this from. And it's just in a bigger bottle. So I can see I have a lot still. But um, they both smell just alike. Just like the Baccarat, y'all. Y'all, baby. Y'all better get on y'all Zoom. Because who paying $400? Not me. I ain't going to be able to do it. So the next one is um, another one from the same brand, True Essence Designs. This one is um, La Lo, La Lo, La However you pronounce it, because I know I just screwed that up. Another 13. La Labo, another 13. Do. Now this one I never had I never smelled the real um perfume of this. I know it's a unisex just like Baccarat. But it's it smells good. It's very um masculine though. So if you're not into masculine scents, this ain't gonna be for you. Which I kinda what I do with this is I layer it with something else. Cause I'm not a big old masculine person. Even with Baccarat. Even though Baccarat is a unisex, I'm not um a big masculine scent girl. I like sweet, fresh scents. That's just who I am. But I would layer this with something sweet. But I like the way it smells. It smells good to say it's a uh, unisex um scent. And of course, y'all I got the infamous uh store beauty supply baby powder scent baby oil baby oil body oil in a scent baby powder why can't i talk and this one is just from the, your local beauty supply store they have all they have all the different um dupe brands as well so check out your local uh beauty supply so the next ones i'm gonna show y'all is gonna be like the uh travel or the purse size um 
scents that I have. And I buy a lot of these only because when I buy perfume, a lot of the times I am just like trying them out to see if I'm going to really like them. So I won't go spend my money purchasing a big bottle and I don't like it, you know. So I buy a lot of the travel slash purse size perfumes as well. So anyway... With that being said, y'all, let me show y'all the ones that's empty that I really like that I need to go get the bottles from. So, I have this one, the Carolina Good Girl. This is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This is the Roll-On. Y'all, this is a sweet scent to me. Don't know the notes, but it's kind of, it's sweet to me. And that's why I was drawn to purchase the Roll-On. Now, I need to get the actual bottle but i want to try the uh pink shoe one i think it's blush if i'm not mistaken it's the one i want to try but this one i think is the very first one that came out and this yeah this right here mm-hmm yep y'all next as y'all can see baby this empty this is good and empty y'all can't see it but this is ysl libre girl well it was because look <laughs> this is good and empty child Good and empty. YSLE Ray. It's that girl. She was that girl. Now she got an intense that I haven't smelled that I need to purchase. Because I know it's a, um, yeah, she have an intense version now, I think. This is, y'all, another one to me, sweet, fresh scent. As y'all can see, y'all know I, 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 I was in love with it because I ain't got no more. I need to throw this in the trash. The next um roller uh, travel size, purse size, whatever you want to call it, scent I have is the Billie Eilish number two. Child. Oops. Now this one, I want to say this one has like vanilla and... Something in it, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can see it on the box. Child, I need some glasses at this point because I can't read this. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. It, it ain't on here. It ain't, child. But anyway, I want to say it's, it has vanilla in it. And I'm not too much of a big vanilla fan. And, um... Why do I feel like it has musk or something in it? This is fit to make me want to pull up the notes to this because now I want to know what is the notes in it because um, it's going to bother me. Notes. Child. Okay, so it... Oh, it don't have... Oh, yes, it do. I knew I smell vanilla. Okay, so the top notes are bergamot and apple blossom. The middle notes is black pepper and papyrus. Papyrus and poppy, papyrus and poppy. Child, the base notes is Palo Santo, ebony, and vanilla. I knew I smelled the vanilla, and I'm not a big old fan of vanilla, but I like um the uh this the number two in Billie Eilish. So it says woody, earthy, spiciness. So yeah, y'all. So it do. Okay, so it is. Anyway, y'all. Get somebody else. Okay, but this is the Billie Eilish number two. If y'all like vanilla and bergamot, Billie Eilish number two is going to be for y'all. So, um, next is no other than Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. I got the um, purse size, travel size, whatever. You want to call it, of course, this speaks for itself. Smells just like cherry, y'all. Love it. This empty. I want to say I got this from Sephora. I haven't been telling. The, the Billy Eilish, the Carolina Herrera, and the YSL all comes from Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. That's where I got those from. Um, Tom Ford Lost Cherry is from Sephora. The next one is Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc. This one comes from Sephora as well. Now, this one is something I would have never, like, was drawn to because it's, I don't know, like, it gives off, I don't know. Let me see. Let's look up the notes, y'all. Hold on. 
Let me look up the notes. I'll be back. Okay, so the notes in this Tom Ford Sola Blanc is bergamot again, cardamom, pink pepper. The middle notes are tuberose, lang lang, and jasmine. The base notes are coconut, amber, tonka bean, and benzoin. I guess. I don't know what it is. It's strong. Don't get me wrong. This, you just need a little squirt, baby. A little squirt. And it's going to last all day. I think it's the amber in here that's, that got me. The amber. Mm-hmm. The amber in this is what got me. And this is, the amber is a base note in here. So, yeah, this is the Tom Ford Solo Blanc. And, you know, of course, they have the uh, body oil as well, y'all. So, yes. So, the next, okay, so next I'm going to um, start with some of the perfumes that I have. So, my most recent purchase. When it comes to perfume, I want to say is the uh, Paco Rabanne Fame Shylock. And I think I uh, did a, a, a video on this when I first bought this. This right here smells so, so, so good, y'all. Oh, my God. Let's see what, this, what the notes is in here. Um, dang, I wish I would have pulled up the notes for y'all before, but I was like, I ain't gonna say the notes, but I know y'all probably want to know the notes so that y'all, if y'all want to buy, it, you know, y'all know what notes are in it. So, let's see. So, in a Paco Rabanne fame, notes, the notes are juicy mango, zesty bergamot, so I, I think I'm a bergamot girl. Okay. Pink pepper, heady floral, heart of jasmine. Jasmine is in a lot of these perfumes too. Um, ashy incense and woody patchouli. It smell. This is more of a fresh, fresh sweet scent to me. It says woody, but I don't. It doesn't give woody to me. I don't know why. It, yeah, it's not giving woody to me, but. I think it's fresh and sweet because that's the kind of, you know, if it's not fresh and sweet, then I don't want it. But that's the um, Paco Rabanne thing. Anyway, the next one I have is um, Valentino. And this is the Coral, y'all. Y'all know everybody was after the Valentino Born in Roma. It smells good to me, but like I say, y'all, I'm a fruity, fresh, sweet kind of person. And Valentina Cora gives out fruity, because look at the notes in it. It's amber fruity scent composed of colorful red apple accord blended with tobacco accord and patchouli essence. So, yeah, that's that's my scent. I like, this is the Valentino that I have. I have the Cora and not the um, Born in Roma, like everybody else was after when Valentino hey first came out so so the next um scent I'm fist to show y'all is the child what's going on okay it's the um it's a Mason Mangella uh scent and if y'all familiar with those with the his scents he um has a lot of uh scents like this. This one is called Replica. The 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 name of it is Replica, but the scent is called Lazy Sunday Morning. It says it's in a floral family, but it gives off soft like soft fresh scent to me. Um, let's see if I can pull up the notes. It's this is really this is one of my favorites, favorite, favorite, favorite um perfumes, y'all. I also have the uh body wash in this. It smells this is one of the um most fresh. Um, it's not sweet, it just gives out fresh and I don't know, y'all, just fresh and soft. Like a soft uh, scent. It's not too strong. This is a scent that you can wear to work. To me. 
You can wear it to work. You know how some people say certain since you just can't wear to work. I'm not that girl because I'm going to wear whatever I want and whatever I feel like I want to wear to work. But um, this is something you can wear to work because it's soft and fresh. And, um, you know, it's not too strong for your employees or your, your work, you know, your uh, co-workers. Yes. Lewis Turner top notes or baby I can't I ain't fit the I ain't even fit to mess this up and try to say these girl I ain't fit to <laughs> shame myself like this like what girl I can't read this okay it says lazy Sunday morning oh it says so this is a unisex scent I don't know y'all cause I'm not fit to even hold y'all with the with the name top notes are baby i ain't even fit to say that a word aldehydes is what it look like it's, <laughs> it look like you say aldehydes lily of the valley pear and the middle notes are rose iris and orange blossom the base notes are white musk amberit a musk mallow and indonesia patchouli leaf yeah, this is Chef's Kiss. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite scents. So, on to the next one. Y'all, this used to be... This, I was stuck on this. This is um, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Baby, this is all I used to wear. When I was... When I was first getting into perfume, this was the only thing I used to always buy. This is so sweet, fruity. Yeah, this this definitely giving childish. But oh well. It, I still like it. I thought I would have outgrew it by now. Mm-mm. I'm going to grow up one day. But not today. Yeah, this is very much fruity. This is very much fruity and very much sweet. Let me see if I can find the notes in here so I can tell y'all. Because y'all, this childish. I'm so childish for even liking this. But oh, well, it is <laughs> what it is. Um, I, I, This is one of my very, very first, like I said, perfumes that I used to like when I first started getting into perfume. Long time ago. So, uh. Let me see if I can see what the notes is. And why does it feel, why does it feel, why does it smell so fruity? Because it's definitely giving. Yep, see. Girl, look, the top notes. Coconut, plum, and apricot. So, yeah, that explains why it's so fruity. When I say a whole fruit box, mm-hmm, just, just what you're going to smell. But I like it. If y'all not a fruity girl, it ain't for y'all. Middle notes are Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, and lily of the valley. The base notes are vanilla. And I'm surprised because I'm not too much, like I said, I'm not a big old vanilla person. But now that it says vanilla is in here, I can smell the vanilla. Yep. Give it fruity pebbles. Yep. Fruit loops, fruity pebbles. That's just what it's giving and I like it. I might grow out of it one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is one of my very first perfumes that I first, first, first bought when I first started getting into perfume. Now this, baby, as y'all can see, is good and empty. Another one. A lot of people like um, the Gucci Guilty. The regular bottle, I think it's the gold one, if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't too drawn to get that one when I started looking into getting me a um, Gucci Guilty perfume. This one caught my eye, and this is Gucci Guilty Absolute. Baby, at first I thought it was just like, um, I thought it was just like seasonal or something, but when I went to Ulta not too long ago, I seen it in there, and it's time for me to get another um, bottle, because as y'all can see, this one empty. Mm-hmm, good and empty, y'all. Then the notes, and the girl, look, and just the other day I was trying to put some on, baby, it ain't even got a drop in here, do you hear me? Not even a drop. Y'all, I, yeah, that means take my butt. No, I ain't going to Ulta. Well, they got their sale going on. I might can't go. <sighs> y'all, this smells so mother. Baby, this smells so kind of doggone good. Let me tell y'all the notes in here. The top notes is leather. 
I surprised y'all because when I think of leather, I think of old man, my grandpa, you know. But the top note is leather. The middle notes are cypress and patchouli. The base notes are woody notes and vetiver. Vetiver? Vetiver? However you pronounce it. This girl, you all know what you missing. When I say this, get y'all some. I ain't even gonna hold you. Y'all see it's empty? Girl, good and empty. Just throw the bottle away, Shalita, at this point. Like, why is you holding on to it, my girl? Why? Why are you holding on to this? Yeah, throw it away. I, I am. I promise. I'm going to throw it away. Okay, so the next perfume is, and I want to say this is unisex, y'all, is Jo Malone C. Daffodil. I got this one from, um... What's that store called? I got this one from the... What's that store called, y'all? In the doggone outlet. Cosmetic Company Store. The CCS. And, um... I don't know what drove me to it. This is another one of those scents that you... Just need a little bit of... A little... Um, squirt. Because that's why the bottle's still full. Oh, shoot! Baby, it was about to be a bus bottle. That's why this bottle is still full. Because, baby, all you need is a little tee tee, ski ski taste. And that's it. Because, baby, it's powerful. When I say it's just, it's powerful, you don't need but a little ski ski. And I'm an over-sprayer. But with this one day I wore to work. And, baby, I almost killed myself. I was like, what the hell? And why in the hell did I, um, why did I spray so much of perfume on? Because it's about to take me out. Like, for real, it was about to take me out, y'all. It was so strong. I was like, oh, I know next time not to put um, all that perfume on. Because, like, what the heck? I was trying to take myself out at some point. Because I was like, uh-uh, I can't do this. Never again. And ever since then, baby, I just do a little ski and be through with it. Because, mm-mm. So let me see if I can find the uh, notes for y'all with this. This this reminds me of uh, Coco Mademoiselle for some reason. I don't know why. And I guess because they both are strong scents too. Because with Coco Mademoiselle, you just need a little ski ski. And that's it. Because that's another one that's going to last forever. It's it's just that strong. So um, the notes um in here is... Okay, so the top notes... And this is mandarin orange, pink pepper. The middle notes is lang lang and sea daffodil. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. vetiver. These almost got the same notes as the um, Gucci Guilty. Almost. Oh, what's that Gucci Guilty? I don't remember, y'all. But yeah, y'all, yeah, this is, this is uh, very, very strong. And you only need a little squirt. That's it. Okay, y'all. Another one that I love, 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 love down is no other than the Chanel Chance. Baby, as y'all can see, it's good and empty. Yeah, this is another purchase from um, Ulta. This, yeah, I told y'all where I got that one from. This one comes from Ulta, and this is the Chanel Chance. So let me tell y'all what's in here. If y'all don't have own any Chanel, the Chanel Chance is the one. I know a lot of people don't like Chanel because they say it gives them old lady vibes. And I get it because Coco Mademoiselle kind of almost give me old lady vibes as well. That's why when I wear it, I always layer it with something else, something sweet, so that I won't be giving off old lady. You know? So, let's see what the notes is in um, the Chanel Chance, y'all, so I can tell y'all. But, yeah, if y'all don't own any Chanel Chance and y'all do want to get into wearing Chanel, Chanel, I mean, any Chanel and want to get into uh, trying some, go the Chanel Chance route. I promise you, y'all will not be disappointed. For real. The Chanel Chance is that girl. Um, which one is this? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what the... Um, the notes is the top notes in the Chanel Chance is quince and grapefruit. The middle notes are rose and jasmine. The base note is white musk. And to say that it has all this flowery scent to it, 
it does not come out flowery to me this scent comes out very much sweet and soft like a soft fresh scent more fresh than anything yeah I'm telling y'all oh child this is another one of them scents that I was trying to get all the little baby all the little skis skis got Maybe out of it because honey it's empty I need to throw this bottle away too so we rounded on down to a last four or five perfumes now this one y'all I don't know this was gifted to me for my birthday last year or year before last this is um decan y be be delicious extra be delicious decan y i think it's what it say i don't know i think that's what they say yeah extra be delicious decan y definitely um sweet my co-worker bought this for me because she know i like sweet perfumes and that's just what this is um uh a sweet scent so let me see if i can find the notes for this for y'all decan y saying it's safe a floral fruity and it's just what it is fragrance it has blended of green notes violet leaf apple grapefruit and let's see what else is in here um they say it's a like creamy caramel i don't know about all that uh so yeah, it say violet leaf, apple, grapefruit, magnolia, tuberose, lily of the valley, rose, violet, sandalwood, amber, and musk notes. Yep, it's definitely giving fruit. It's almost giving fruity, like um, like the uh Christian, I mean like the Dior hypnotic poison. Yeah, it's definitely fruity, y'all. But yeah, this was a gift to me for a birthday gift to me, y'all. So the next one I have is this. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this. This Vince Camuto CIA. I don't know how you pronounce it. C I C O C A C I A O. If y'all can see it, this is another mm -hmm, sweet kind of uh, fruity scent. I got this from, uh, you know how they have those perfume stores inside the outlet, like those, what is it called? Like the, um, I guess it's just called a perfume store where they sell all kind of perfume up in there. And this, that's where I got the, um, that Vince Camuto scent from a long time ago. And, uh, like this is probably when I was first getting into perfume, y'all. The perfume go bad. Because, baby, this probably needs to be in the trash at this point. Let's see what the notes is in this one. Girl, it say top notes are wop. <laughs> baby, all I see was the first couple of notes. And I already know that's why it's, it's giving fruit loops and fruity pebbles. Because, baby, the top notes are wild strawberry, blackberry, Italian mandarin, and pink grapefruit. Definitely for <laughs> giving fruit basket. Um, the middle notes are peony, rose, honeysuckle, passion flower, lily of the valley, and pink jasmine. The base notes are amaretta, amber cashmere, Indonesia patchouli leaf, and sandalwood. Mm-hmm. That's actually to grow your ass up. That's what that mean. Grow your ass up and stop uh, liking these fruit ass scents. That's what this telling me. Cause baby, this definitely giving fruit basket. This, mm-hmm, giving. I smell like a fruit snack, fruit roll up. Mm -hmm. It smell. That's what it's giving. Definitely giving fruit roll up. Okay, so now we, baby, if y'all not, we finna talk about these two dossier scents. And if y'all not on to dossier, then I don't know what y'all doing. And this is not sponsored in dossier. If y'all want to, yeah, y'all can sponsor your girl. But if y'all not hip to dossier, where have y'all been? Are y'all hiding under a rock? 
Y'all sleeping under a rock? What is it? Because I need to know why y'all don't know about Dossier. Anyway, this one is um the Oriental Oak Moss. This is another dupe for uh, Coco Mademoiselle. Maybe it's empty. I need another bottle. Good and empty, y'all. And y'all know they bottles are magnetic. And now they have bigger bottles, y'all. But this bottle, I want to say, was $29 when I purchased it. $29 or $39. Y'all know they perfume is not expensive at all, at all. And they have all the dupes to our, some of the ones that I already didn't name down here. They have all the dupes to the most popular brand name um, perfumes. And they be spot on. Do you hear me? Spot on. Now, this one is the Amber Saffron, and this is the dupe for the Baccarat, y'all. I still have some of these, only because I use the oil a lot more than the perfume. So, yeah, this is the Dossier version of Baccarat. Okay, y'all, so my last perfume is a little travel pack, and it is Christian Louboutin perfume right so my co-worker the same co-worker that bought the decan y for me she excuse me she is a perfume woman when i say this woman buys perfume she come and work smelling like a different perfume every day she, she do but she love perfume and she came in and she had on the louis b rouge and baby when i say I was like, damn, what you got on? Because that smells so good. I was like, I have to have it. When I looked it up, I seen that it was like $300 for the bottle. And I was like, I'm not going to buy just a bottle. And what if I don't like it? So I seen, um, I want to say I got this off of Sex or Neiman's website for $80. And it came with seven travel sizes of the different ones that Christian Louboutin have, right? So, the one that I, and this is what the bottles look like, y'all. And it's oils. These are perfume, no, these not perfume oils, I lied. These are perfume bottles. Yeah, they are perfume bottles, but the Louis Barouge is what the one that, is the one that I really like the way it smelled on her. And y'all know everybody, uh, body chemistry is different. So, I was, that's another reason why I didn't want to purchase just a big old bottle. And what if it didn't smell like it smelled on her? So anyway, the Louis B. Rouge um, perfume has... Oh, shit. I wish they had the um, the notes on here. Let me pull it up for y'all because that's going to bother me. But they are my favorite ones in here. So look, let me show y'all. This is what the... This is all of the perfumes that's in here. So the Louis B. Rouge is the one that she had. I like the Louis B. Crown. Louis B. Louis B. Do. Girl, that's the name of it. Louis B. Do. I like the Louis B. Is it Ciroc? Girl, no, they don't say Ciroc. Louis B. Croc. And um, I want to say Louis B. Kiss, if I'm not mistaken. But, y'all... You can't go wrong when you get a sample. And I think this was like $80, if I'm not mistaken, for all seven of these. And the, let me see if I can pull up the notes on the um, the uh, the one that made me purchase this. This uh, sample. They all smell so, so, so good, though. When is it that she said I said she had the rouge? Is it the rouge? I don't even remember at this point which one she have. I want to say it's the Louis B. Rouge. Just to give y'all an idea of what it smells like, let me tell y'all the notes from that one. Okay, let's see. Okay, so. Whew, let's see what the notes cardamom and orris vanilla this got vanilla in it for the vanilla girls yeah it got cardamom and orris vanilla is what it's showing on the site that's that's my perfume collection 
the I would highly suggest this. I'm not even gonna hold you. This baby again, this is what the bottles look like, y'all. I think girl just opening up the box. Damn, smells so good. These are uh four milli four milliliter bottles of perfume oil. Little perfumes. Let me take one out so I can show y'all exactly what the little bottles look like. If I can shoot. All right, y'all. So I'm back. So this is what the bottle, the little bottles look like. Yeah. My battery about to go dead, so we got to hurry up. But this is what the bottles look like. And this is the, the, the Louis Barack, I think, one. Yeah. Croc Louis. All right, y'all. So my battery went dead. I was showing y'all the bottles before it interrupted me so this is the what the little bottles look like y'all and the tops just pop off like this oh shoot like this and it has this little thing so you can like just dab it on i don't got on no perfume today anyway so let me just put this on baby mm-hmm name it y'all i promise y'all if y'all just want to try it and sample it I, I, I highly suggest just going this route and buying the um the uh the sample pack so that you can try all of the perfumes because um I just well, I wasn't fit to buy that one bottle for three twenty and wasn't sure if the bottle I mean if the perfume was gonna smell the same on me and end up liking a lot of. The, the uh, Christian Louis Vuitton perfume. So now I have more than one to choose from when I'm ready to put on one of these scents. So yeah, y'all. That concludes my perfume collection, y'all. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all own any of these perfumes or will y'all try any of these. Y'all let me know. Let's chat up in the comments and uh talk about this, the perfumes and all this, you know, all the things. So anyway, y'all, if y'all made it to the end of the video, Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please, 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 please comment. And like the video. Go ahead and like the video right now, please. That helps push out the videos on YouTube, y'all. My thing is, when I'm watching YouTube, when I click on somebody's video and I start watching, especially my regular people that I watch, that's the first thing I do, y'all. I click the like button before I even start watching the video. I click the like button. That helps push our videos through the algorithm, y'all. Like it, please. That's all I want. Please like the video. And I would love for y'all to comment. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Yeah.